Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. Today I have a special treat. As you know, John Renault has been on a mission to expand their Smart Lace Light collection to include a lot of their popular styles. Well, today I am going to be showing you the brand new John Renault's Rachel Light in the color 12 FS12. All the details coming up. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One so I could review it for you today. If you're interested in this style, more details, colors, pricing, please drop below the video. I will drop in a product link there. It'll be labeled Find John Renault's Rachel Light. If you click on the link, it'll take you out to the site where you can take a look at all those details, colors, and pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. And don't forget to visit us on the Wig Studio One YouTube channel, private Facebook group, and well-appointed Instagram page. Again, all of those links are below the video in the description box. So what I'm wearing here though is the John Renault's original Rachel. This is not the Smart Lace Light collection. This just came out of the box. It's been boxed for a couple of years actually. And what I should have done was take it out last night and give it a good squirt of water and allowed it to rest so that um, some of the kinks and bends came out of it. But it's still beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Absolutely love this style. So glad to see that they're expanding it to the light collection. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now this is right out of the, out of the box, okay? I took it out and inspected it. Um, we don't need to see it come right out of the box every time, but it had a little bit of a weave pattern there at the part. Now this color is 12 FS12. The color on the original here is 12 FS8. If you're wondering what the difference is, the main difference is the root color. So the 12 FS12 is gonna have a light brown root, whereas the 12 FS8 is a medium brown root. Um, now you can see variants from piece to piece, and on this 12 FS12, I've seen uh, variations of this color that are very gold looking, and then other times a little more towards uh, neutral to ash. And then it does feature that little bit of a lighter root. Okay, so we'll, let's head right into the cap construction because this is where the story begins for the light collection. All of these upgrades, and I have to tell you that I feel like it's a good upgrade. Like these just aren't gimmicks. So the first thing you're going to see is an ear to ear lace front. On the original Rachel, it's just temple to temple. It doesn't even extend back into the ear tab, okay? So this is a huge upgrade. I love this. Um, it's beautifully contoured. The knots, uh, look how fine the knots are. You can barely see them against my skin tone. The knotting is just so impressive, and that's the other part of the light collection. Not only do you get the ear-to-ear -ear wrap around lace, but you get the finer knotting at the front. It just gradually gets a little more thicker as you move back, exactly like human hair growth patterns. Okay, so I love that. And the lace front is really deep. It's about two inches. Then it meets a, a slight transparent seam back into a single hand-tied monofilament top. Okay, so even the monofilament features back here. So realistic. And they're very fine. This is a fine grid monofilament. It's not scratchy. So you'll also notice here that when you turn it to the side, you're going to see a polyurethane ear tab here. And then there's a built-in metal stay. Now that polyurethane is going to help um, help this stay flat and flush to the head, but it also gives you a place to um, add your glues or adhesives or tape if you're looking for a little extra security. Okay, then you have, turning it back, you have an extended nape here, and then you will also see a strip of polyurethane right at the bottom. Again, this is where you'll put your glues, adhesive tapes, and things like that. It'd be very easy to secure it that way. Velcro style adjusters and very stretchy hand-tied panels. So with their hand-tied panels, you'll see that they're using the cluster knots there. Each one of those cluster knots going in hand-tied. And then you'll notice how stretchy this material is. 
Now, some of the seams and things you see here are just to fortify the cap, but it certainly doesn't detract from the beautiful, realistic look. This is probably one of the most comfortable cups that I've ever worn. Um, it is average in size, and when I tried it on last night, um, it fits me very well, but I know I'm going to have to make an adjustment. So what I'm thinking is that this is a very average fitting cap by John Renault. I can easily make an adjustment for a petite average circumference, and then it should go up to average lar large by letting out the adjusters as far as they could go. Anything beyond that, I wouldn't be able to comment on today because I have no way of measuring that. Okay, so some of the other Smart Lace Light upgrades that you're going to notice is, and we talked a little bit about this, and I'll show it to you when I apply it, but the knotting is very fine at the front. They are starting to bring that highlight up to that lace front in a way, though, that isn't a, a, a heavy banding but that is just interspersed, just to make it a little softer looking. So finer knotting, highlights to the front, all of these beautiful natural features, okay? So again, right out of the box, you can see that this spiral is still kind of noodly. Um, now you could brush this out. I rather like something that's a little more intact like this, but you can already tell that this is a very light density wig. And um, it weighs about just over four ounces, and I think this one is around four and a half. So they're both hand tied, but I feel like the Rach the original Rachel has more fiber in it compared to the light version, which is exactly what we should expect with this Smart Lace Light version. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of unravel that part a little bit. I think what I want to do is use just this fine tooth brush here because these fibers look they're just like silk they're so fine and so light silky and I'll work on that part a little bit more but can you see through to this these monofilament features the density is just amazingly natural. Now I think what I want to do is just take a wide domino wide tooth comb to separate some of the bottom without, without brushing it out completely. So I just like to start and look at this. It just glides right through. This is not a heat friendly wig style. This is made from the John Renault's regular synthetic. Okay, there's absolutely no permatease on Rachel, and either Rachel doesn't have any permatease. So before I get started here and apply this and show it to you, I just want to go through the uh, the other differences. So the difference in price is approximately $100 retail. So the original Rachel, I think it's around $450 and about $550 retail for the Rachel Light. Now this is before any applicable retail discounts, okay? So there's about a $100 difference. Now, is it worth it? It's up to you. You know, what are what is your budget? What are your priorities? Is are these features enough of an incentive to purchase the light? Now, I would. So if I'm going to invest in a hand-tied style anyhow, I'm probably going to go ahead and go with the light version because of all of these beautiful upgrades, the beautiful light density, the ear-to-ear -ear lace, um, the better lace front, just the, the more natural-looking highlights and so forth at the front. So... Let's go ahead and try on the Rachel Light. Oh my goodness, everything you love about John Renault's Rachel, but better. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm tapping my scalp here. It just is an amazing feeling. It feels like it's my own hair. It really, really does. Um, all of these beautiful realistic features. You can tell just how light it is uh, in terms of the lower profile on the sides. 
just the the density especially around the face is lighter let's examine these light features while I have it on so the first thing is let's get a look at the lace front okay so again temple to temple no this one is the ear to ear remember so um amazing coverage just amazing coverage look at that if I were to do that on the original Rachel or any um other style I I would catch a seam even if it's extended I would still be catching a seam and that I would have to work around in styling wow 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 look at that beautiful knotting process there the highlight is interspersed it's not banded now I will say that depending on your own hairline at the temple you may or may not be able to completely pull it back okay because with me I have a hairline that sticks out a little right there um and that extra lace around the ear tab really isn't helping this area here. But if you don't have hair or you don't have a hairline that comes out as far as mine, you could get a full, an absolutely full off of the face look here. So the style theory here is really the beginning of my love affair with this. So a longer style to me is more wearable when you have some really nice fringe. Fringe that stays out of the face. So I don't have to use styling to keep it out of the face unless I want to. So this first piece here is around seven inches. So the front fringe is about seven inches and you can see where it just feathers right back into the style. And unless you're looking straight down or hanging from monkey bars, it's not gonna get in your eyes. I love that. I also love the curl pattern on this. So it's just a gentle, a gentle deconstructed spiral. It's rather uniform, but not, not too much. It doesn't detract from the casual look of it. Now with Rachel, um, overall, it's probably about 18 inches, and I've always felt like there was just a slight graduation from front to, or from back to front. Let's get a look at these hand tied panels. expect any member of that smart lace light family to work well with glasses yep so no permatees light density means it's usually a glasses friendly wig style everybody thank you so much for joining me today we'll see you soon right here on Taz's wig closet at wig studio one